What's up guys? Welcome to Build Your Own Adventure. Uh, today I am organizing my toolbox that I keep in our truck and we take this on our camping adventures and I basically use it in my everyday life. Uh, I keep a lot of really important tools in here and if you are trying to get a toolbox together for your trips then I think this will be helpful for you. So stay tuned and we'll go over everything that we carry with us. This is the portable toolbox we're using. It is a Craftsman. Uh, it has a nice seal around this outside and it is uh, it has like a notch where this piece fits. It has been waterproof. It sits in the back of my truck. I do have a tonneau cover that I do leave closed most of the time. But when we're camping, uh, we have a gooseneck. If we're headed that way and it's raining, it's gonna get wet. And it has, and it holds water on the top where the handle is. Um, it doesn't leak in there, doesn't leak around the handle. It's been great, I love it. It's held up very well. I've had it over two years. So I think it was around $74, $75, something like that. On the inside, uh, you have this little tool tray. I find it very helpful. And then the bottom is just open, nothing to it. I uh, knew I needed a way to keep all of my sockets separate and I found these tough lug bags on Amazon. Again, I'll have a link below. Uh, it comes with a pack of four and I just wrote what size sockets are in each bag. These have been awesome. They are super tough, uh, very heavy duty. They fit very nicely in the toolbox. I kind of press them down like this and they fit very nice. I uh, even have room on the side to add a few things. I normally carry this everyday diesel treatment for my truck and it drops down right beside it. I bought a giant kit at some point uh, with different tools and I bought them just for camping. They came with sets of Allen wrenches always helpful a bunch of small wrenches i do have a quarter inch drive ratchet and extension three eighths uh, ratchet extensions i also have this swivel very nice to have in tight situations so i have this half inch ratchet with all the extensions and i have a half inch pull bar of course an adjustable wrench and i got this giant one i've used this so many times uh say what you want Maybe it's not the right tool, but it makes itself the right tool when you really need it. Uh, I wouldn't go without having one of those. So I've got a Leatherman. Of course, it has all sorts of tools built into one. Can't go wrong with having a knife. I'll tell you about the one situation we got ourselves in where this came in handy. Uh, I like to have wire strippers. And... Here's a pair of needle nose with a 90 degree. We have adjustable pliers, always helpful. And a pair of needle nose, of course always helpful. I have these larger wires with the ends already on them. Uh, maybe batteries, who knows? You could use this for anything. You might, you might could even tie something up with these. Um, not really what they're made for, but when you're on the side of the road, who cares? So same with this wire. Uh, 12 gauge speaker wire I believe. I have Teflon tape. Uh, this mostly could be used for plumbing in the trailer but you just don't know. You could use it on uh, all sorts of things. Uh, I've got a marker. Uh, these Milwaukee markers will mark on anything. I uh, haven't found anything yet that these don't mark on. They're very helpful, very useful. I like to keep, of course, different types of screwdrivers, different sizes. I uh, have this magnet that extends out. So it extends out in case you drop something uh, down in the engine bay. That does happen quite a bit. So that could help you out. You know, you don't want to drop something out on the road and not be able to reach it. And you can see it. This thing will help you out quite a bit. Um, side cutters, if you're playing with wires, these are helpful, if you're playing with nearly anything. Vice grips, these are some of the most valuable tools you could ever buy. 
Um, you can clamp down on a hose to stop leaking. Uh, you can clamp down on anything that's coming apart to keep it together. Um, just super useful for nearly anything. I like to keep a cheap pair of these wire crimpers and it has a stripper on the bottom. Of course, a couple pairs of pliers, different sizes. We've got a headlight because you never know when you're going to break down at night. Uh, lots of different sizes of screws. Uh, these are made for metal, um, self-tapping metal screws. I've got Craig screws. Those are made for wood. Lots of bolts with nuts on them. Washers. I have random washers here. Of course, uh, tape. This isn't really duct tape, but it's a really strong 3M tape. That'll hold all kinds of stuff together. I have spare lug nuts and a spare valve core for your valve stems. Um, I try to keep this bit in here because if you own a camper or a trailer of any sort, our cargo trailer has them, it uses this square head. The, all the screws inside use the square head. Uh, these are invaluable. So I keep one of these in my toolbox. This glue is made for uh, grips for handlebars on a motorcycle. Uh, this saved our butts when our awning broke this year. So I've started keeping this in our toolbox. Uh, it is basically just super glue um, but a large container of it and it's really strong sets up really quickly Very nice very helpful Of course zip ties zip ties and tape uh, You can get out of a lot of situations with both of those make sure you have plenty uh, tire plugs Of course very helpful. You can get a tire plug kit I actually need to uh, Order a new kit because I don't have the adhesive. I'm not sure where that where that went but that's why I'm organizing so I can get all those things for next year. But you can order a tire uh, plug kit. You can get on YouTube and find out how to use these things, but this could save you from sitting on the side of the road. Of course, I got a couple different hammers here. Got a mallet, a little more weight to it, and just your standard hammer. And then, this was the lifesaver for us. Uh, these are hose clamps. I've got several different sizes. Two of these hose clamps, about the same size, saved us uh, from sitting on the side of the road for hours. We had a heater hose break off of our firewall. The uh, plastic connector had dry rotted. We had no idea. So the heater hose broke off. It was spraying coolant everywhere. We pulled over on the side of the interstate so I pop the hood open and uh, get to work, try to figure out what's going on. Luckily, a GM mechanic actually was coming by and stopped to help us. Uh, he and I used a knife to cut the heater hoses away from the connectors. We used, where'd it go, there we go. This half inch adapter, stuffed it in one of the heater hoses. We used a bolt, stuffed it in the other. And we used the, the hose clamps, wrapped it around, and tightened them down just as tight as we could get them. Uh, then we ran our water hose to our outdoor shower, and luckily we had enough water to pump from our freshwater tanks into our truck, filled everything back up, and we made it to the campground that night. Um, these were a lifesaver. I will never, ever travel without having a whole lot of hose clamps. As you can see, I've got plenty of them. So uh, that was a valuable lesson learned. It was a terrible feeling to be broken down, but it is also why I now carry a toolbox full of all sorts of things. I hope this helps you guys. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Don't leave yet. I have one more thing that I've been carrying with me this year uh, that I added to the uh, truck. It actually goes, it stays under the seat, can't really fit in the toolbox. But uh, 
this giant impact gun um, this thing is sweet it will break loose lug nuts tighten up lug nuts I uh, haven't had to use it on the side of the road thankfully but I can uh, tighten up my lug nuts or check them before I leave for a trip or at a campground or wherever so I'd say if you're gonna add something extra to your kit or to your truck throw one of these in there this thing is awesome and if you have any questions or you know of something else that we really need to add to our toolkit please leave a comment below and let us know I don't want to sit on the side of the road again, and I hope you guys don't either. So thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos. We'll catch you next time, guys. Thank you.